Hello everyone, my name is Adish Fule, and I'm a product manager here with CA Technologies. We saw an excellent demo from Brian uh, earlier about end user experience, and for his problem, there's a family trying to purchase tickets, uh, a nice dad you know, trying to purchase tickets and running into issues uh, and just spoiling the whole experience. Uh, so we saw some, you know, if, if we sort of switch hats, and uh, I'm a guy you know, sitting here responsible to make sure that these applications run smoothly. So users like you can have a nice seamless experience. Um, now, uh, there are two ways to find out, you know, where the problem has occurred. One is I can monitor Twitter. And these days with uh, social media being uh, so omnipresent, um, customers are not shy to tweet about or, you know, post on Facebook. Uh, about bad experience or how applications are not working, uh, but that's really not the way I want to go. Uh, my, you know, that may not gel well with my with my bosses. Um, so what I really want is a way to quickly identify which uh, services are impacted in my enterprise. Uh, on an average, an enterprise could have you know more than 100 applications and even more business services and infrastructure that's supporting um, you know all those applications. So I need some help because uh, I can't manage all of this uh, by myself. Uh, and that's where it comes in the realm of uh, you know AI, machine learning. Essentially, apply modern data science techniques uh, to simplify my life and make sure we can give you guys a more smoother uh, experience. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the product now. And uh, uh, I want to quickly identify if any of my services are being impacted. So I'm looking at a list of all the services in my enterprise. Uh, now, as I said, I'm already overworked. So what I really want to do is, uh, what I would really love is if there was a system to which I can connect all my monitoring tools that I have in my enterprise, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's uh, you know business KPI, uh, end user experience, and network uh, application components, all of that. So all I want to do is connect all of these applications, give uh, someone access to all this data, and I want you know tiny little robots or you know let's call them AI robots uh, to do all the work and give me all the insight. So when I look at my screen here. Uh, I see a list of different services uh, that have been discovered. Now, these could be end user facing business services, or these could be internal IT services, or anything that I really want to monitor. Um, and so I can see a few of these services, and for each of these services, uh, I can see some interesting information that helps me assess uh, the health uh, of, of that service. Now, as I said, a service is comprised of uh, multiple software, hardware components. Um, so what I really want is, is my, my machine learning component or my, um, the, the solution that I'm using to piece all these components together and form the service and then report some interesting KPIs about it. Uh, so if I look at these different columns that are available to me, I can see the number of user sessions for my different services. Uh, I can see the aggregate availability. So this is across all the you know, software and hardware components that make up uh, that specific service. But I can also see any risks associated with my SLA. Uh, and this is key, because uh, it may not be an availability issue, but it could be a performance issue. And I want a quick way to identify that. Um, so here I have a little you know, risk donut graph. And it is color coded. As you can see, it's uh, showing me different states. Um, you know, as, as, as they say, the human brain can only kind of uh, parse about four to five thoughts at a time. Uh, so we have a nice little five-point scale for you. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to find out which services, um, you know, have issues. Uh, so what I want to, so, uh, you know, as I apply that filter, I can see that uh, there are two services that are impacted, uh, have issues with availability and risk. Now, what that tells me is my you know, user experience or my customer's user experience is being impacted. Uh, now, what do you do in this scenario, right? I mean, you know, for a second, think about what you do uh, when you know, something like this happens in your environment. Well, right now, you're calling someone, uh, you know, you're setting up a war room environment, you're starting your WebExes, your phone conferences, uh, and you're getting experts from different areas to kind of jump in and say, fix the problem first, and then let's try to find you know, what went wrong. Um, 
And so it's, you know, getting to the right uh, root cause is critical. Now, um, you know, you have all these monitoring tools and they're sending you a lot of alarms. Uh, but it's kind of hard to figure out, you know, which alarms or which uh, problems are impacting and which is a root cause. So we saw some of that in the previous demo where we were able to go through the application layer and different. But what if I wanted a quick notification uh, or a quick way to identify where to even start my triage process? So here I'm looking at my, and I can maybe just scroll through this uh, a little, spend a little more time here. But this is, uh, you know, I started with a messaging service, which I identified as being, uh, you know, being risky. So I can see the different user sessions. There have been a few blips, which tells me there might be some problems. Um, I can see, you know, uh, some geo data, so I know where these users are coming from. Um, and I think Brian was somewhere here in, in around New York. I can see the availability. I can see risk, so it's been consistently high for a while. Um, but what I really want to do and what an asset is, is you know, available to me is the alarms that's coming from the different monitoring tools that I have. Now the last thing I want to do is you know, you know, sit around and write rules. Um, I don't want to write rules to you know, group these alarms because uh, I don't know, uh, you know what the dimensions or the interesting dimensions are. So uh, um, ideally, as I said earlier, I want my little AI robots uh, to kind of look at all the alarms that are coming in from these different tools, and they could be a few thousands uh, at any given time, events, alarms coming my way. So I want this little robot to go in and uh, basically start analyzing all the alarms and start clustering them. So tell me, I know, identify incidents of problems, um, and then don't make me go through these raw alarms. So here I can you know, quickly see that I have uh, over 1,200 raw alarms that I have received uh, over a period of time. And what we have done is we have looked, analyzed all these alarms. Uh, my little AI robots have analyzed that and converted into uh, some meaningful uh, clusters. So there are 41 critical and there are a few minor that have been identified. Uh, so that gives me an excellent noise reduction ratio, right? So a really high noise reduction ratio, which means I spend less time triaging. So let me drill into this. Um, so now I see my clustered view of the world, uh, and again, you know, thanks to uh, the solution, I didn't really have to, uh, you know, sit through and write these rules. So if I expand one of these, um, I, what it tells me is, okay, there was a problem with your service, uh, and you know, this problem essentially, um, you know, has been detected uh, across different products. So I can see that I have alarms being sent to me from my infrastructure tools, uh, my log analysis tools, or my log, uh, you know, log insight tool. Uh, from APM, from uh, my performance management, network tools, fault, etc. So I have these different sources that are sending data my way. Um, and it's indicative of the same scenario. Uh, so the first thing I want to know is where do I start my triage process? I don't want to go through these as we have established through each one of them. Uh, and so you have this little indicator. And this is where uh, our machine learning algorithms have identified uh, not just uh, you know, a cluster of alarms that are related together, but also a potential root cause. And so I can now drill into this root cause and start to see, you know, uh, you know what is the metric that triggered it all. And this is a su suggestion provided to me. So here, um, you know, I can, I can see that, um, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is a metric that is being sent by my infrastructure monitoring tool. It's related to memory. Um, and as I look at this graph, you will see a few of these uh, bands, colored bands, and we call them as green highways. But essentially what they're trying to tell me is, um, you know, typically the metric uh, is within a specific band, which is what we call as the common band. And the moment it digresses from that value, uh, you know, that situation needs my attention, and that's anomaly detection, right? So we're tracking anomalous behavior. So here I see my anomaly detect, you know, alarm triggered by anomaly detection, and I can clearly see that the metric value suddenly jumped up to, uh, you know, uh, to more than uh, you know, my 30% usual uh, memory utilization to over 70. Um, and um, uh, so this is a quick way to identify you know, which is the device impacted. And as you can see, this is on my app server and the messaging application, right? So I can now you know, jump into that specific domain tool and start to uh, you know, drill deeper into it. Now, a lot of enterprises, um, you know, of course, want to optimize 
the operational efficiency by reducing, yeah, you know, for reducing your MTT or, or the time it takes to, uh, you know, to triage the problem, find the right root cause. Uh, but what about being more proactive? Um, you know, if I can identify problems before they happen, well, I won't even have to triage these issues. It's kind of like you know, investing in, in stocks, right? Uh, you, you watch all these uh, news channels that give you a forecast of certain you know, companies or certain stocks are going to behave, and then you, you know, tune your investment strategy accordingly. And so what I want to do now for the, for the second part of this demo is dive into predictive insights. Um, and as I look at this page, uh, we haven't lost the service context, right? As you can see, I have currently, I'm, I'm currently looking at just the last 24 hours, uh, sorry, the next 24 hours. We're looking into the future. Um, and what I've also done is I've filtered across some key services. So in this example, I'm going to use the payment service. Uh, I'm also using CRM and a and couple of others. So I've applied a couple of filters for these services. And now what I see is over the next 24 hours, I have about uh, 78 predictions across my, uh, across the services that have been selected, that I've selected. Um, and um, what I can also see is the time intervals at which um, you know, these predictions are set to occur. So if I just sort of uh, you know, mouse over on one of these, uh, I can see this is, um, you know, this is an example of a prediction which says, uh, uh, they expect my memory utilization to jump over uh, 90%. And this is an EC2 instance um, uh, that's running some component of my application. So um, typically the predictions are around different categories. So I can see performance-related information, capacity-related information, and any other problems or situations that uh, you know, require my attention. But I'm more of uh, a performance uh, analyst. I want to focus on performance challenges and capacity is, uh, you know, is, is managed by a different team. Uh, so here, um, you know, I filter by performance, and it basically shows me that relevant information. Uh, so what I want to do is now look at all these you know, predictions uh, that have been generated for me. So I can see uh, you know, the first one that I, I saw earlier. This is about my memory utilization spiking up. I can see which service it belongs to. Uh, what I also notice is an action has been taken against it already, right? And this was, uh, you know, set to kind of occur, uh, you know, four hours from uh, from now. Um, so this was interesting. Uh, there was a prediction and an action was taken. Uh, so let's see what that action is. And uh, uh, looks like my, you know, automation was already hooked up, and so, you know, the, the solution was able to detect. Uh, you know, predict a problem and then take a remedial action automatically for you. So in this case, uh, since it's a memory problem, uh, what the automation did is essentially, you know, dive in and, and resize my AC2 instance. Um, and in, for, for this example, uh, in a demo scenario, we used our own tool. So we're using CA's atomic tool. Uh, but, you know, you can imagine your favorite, uh, you know, tool and, um, you know, anything that, that is approved uh, within your enterprise. And it also tells me, you know, the start time, end time, and I can drill into further details. But I don't want to do that uh, right now. I want to focus on, you know, what was the problem, uh, you know, what could be the impact, and and uh, what information I have about it. Uh, so, so let's drill into the prediction itself. So if I uh, click on this prediction, um, the first thing I see in terms of details is the uh, the in context topology. So here my topology tells me that, uh, and this is a very simple application, so you can see it has a web layer and an app layer and a database layer, um, you know, front-ended by uh, API gateway and, and a router. So uh, what, it, what it highlights is that my application server was starting to uh, run out of memory. This could be, uh, you know, indicative of, uh, of, of just, you know, more connections coming in or maybe more users, uh, you know, utilizing my... Um, uh, you know my application here, yeah. um, so that's uh, that's useful information to have because uh, now I can quickly see the impacted area and I can also quickly analyze uh, the neighboring nodes. What I can also do is um, see the metric behavior itself. So since this is related to my memory utilization, um, you know what I what I do see is um, I, I see you know the metric in context, and you saw some of these green highways. Uh, in the earlier, uh, you know, the first part of this, uh, for first part of this demo as well. 
Um, so you know, we're trying to stick with the same theme. So this is you know, the moment you change the page um, doesn't mean you lose context. Um, so here I can see the various bands and I can see how the metric has behaved. Uh, and what's interesting here is that uh, you know, if you see this dotted line is what the prediction was you know, four hours out. Uh, but the interesting part is, as soon as um, you know the prediction kicked in, it, it detected that oh, this is going to be a problem going forward, and it kicked off the remedial action at the right time. Uh, and I can see the benefit. So as soon as uh, the action was kicked in, my you know memory utilization essentially reduced. I mean, I basically had you know spare capacity at my disposal, and so now I can seamlessly continue to use my application without being bothered. And that's you know that's the vision of um, you know a, a self-managed, self-driving uh, IT infrastructure. I I don't want to uh, you know I, I want to provide the best experience for my users, uh, but I don't want that at my personal expense. I don't want to be sitting here staring at the screen, you know you know doing uh, you know clicking around here and there to find problems. I want more automation, not just in terms of the action. Uh, but also in terms of the intelligence uh, required uh, upfront to triage, uh, to predict, and to seamlessly, uh, you, know, you know, get rid of these problems. Um, so, so that's all with. Uh, so that's all for me. Um, uh, next up, uh, sort of to set the stage, you know, we started off with a ticket exchange problem. Uh, you know, the Brian kind of uh, detected. Um, uh, you know, and then kind of you know told us how we could try, try to triage that scenario. Um, you know, what I talked about is you know as an enterprise, I have multiple applications, multiple services to manage, and how can I kind of bring all of that under control and be able to quickly go from oh something is wrong to oh I know what's going on or oh, that problem's already fixed. So hopefully you enjoyed the demo. Hopefully you learned something and. Uh, you know, let us know if you have any questions. So, thanks.